this morning, Mr. Man. <laughs> you look so evil at the moment. Good morning, everybody. I am just about to give my hair a little bit of a zhuzh. I'm going out this morning with Carl because we are going to do something very Halloween-y. And I'm really, really excited. I, I thought I'd just give my hair a bit of a zhuzh. Basically, I've got a new routine which I'm really loving and it's actually still got quite a wave actually I'm not even going to do that I'm just going to add them here and there where, they, where I think they need them I do just want to kind of like zhuzh in a few bits especially along the top so it just looks a little bit fresher this is a tong that I've had for a while and never really knew how to use properly so never got into a habit of using it but when my hairstylist Willis Willis <laughs> Willis used it um, on the bluey shoot. I feel like I learned how to use it properly and it's just like a really nice soft beachy wave that is reliable. That's the thing that I find because you can do like the sort of really tussly beach waves with a straightener like I did a few videos ago. It just changes how it looks every time whereas this always looks the same <laughs> so you can trust it. So yeah, this is actually the GHD Soft Curl Waver. It's a little bit complicated to use because it's got this little clippy thing and I don't actually use that. I'm, I'm guessing what you can do is like, I, I think there's lots of different ways you can use this, but I just use it the most simple way <laughs> and just wrap it round downwards away from the face and it seems to do a nice wave. So um, yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. But hi guys. How are we doing? I feel like I haven't spoken to you in ages because I did not film last week. I actually decided last week to take a little bit of a step back and work out my brain. <laughs> so I didn't film anything last week for anywhere. I didn't film any Instagram stuff or TikTok stuff or YouTube stuff. It just comes out so nice. I just love it and it does last like a few days and when it drops it just looks even nicer obviously it's quite big right now but it's just such a nice wave this is it Here, let me show you this is it it's so good i've never found a proper like curling tong that i actually like that doesn't make me look like a princess or a poodle <laughs> do you know what i mean but yeah anyway as i was saying i did take little bit of time away because as I mentioned the main thing I do you know what <laughs> I was trying to think how I was going to explain what I was feeling today on here to you guys and <laughs> whenever I feel like I've progressed from a place where I was I actually find it really hard to describe how I was feeling if that makes sense I guess to summarize I literally felt like I was stuck in mud and I was sinking <laughs> That's kind of how I described it to now, towards my work. So mainly towards balancing Bluey Beyond and all my stuff. As I did go on a tangent in a vlog a few vlogs ago, I'm not going to go too much into it. But basically, Bluey was very, very, very full on. And um, we've had quite like a change up recently with how the business works. And um, there's been lots of staff starting and it's just been manic <laughs> and i absolutely love bluey but it is a lot <laughs> and i was just finding like the business and finance side of it a lot and i really just didn't want to become a walking talking businesswoman like obviously i am a businesswoman although if i find i i know i shouldn't but i do find it a little bit i should just own it but <laughs> i don't know i just feel like calling myself a businesswoman sounds funny but I am a businesswoman and I just didn't want it to become the definition of everything that I did online I really wanted because I feel like the heart of what I do online is the simple things the, the seasons and just the normal chats and the homely stuff and I just had zero time at all for my personal life or my social life or all those little bits and bobs I try and vlog away from like my sort of businessy work because although I like to show bits of business in my videos here and there I don't want to just become a walking talking business 
on YouTube as well. Like, I'm sure loads of you guys don't mind seeing it sometimes and like bits and bobs and, you know, it is a big part of my life now, but I don't want to just talk to you about business. Also, I don't know that much. I'm still like winging it. <laughs> And I feel completely out of my depth because I feel like people who, you know, run businesses, they seem to always have their shit together and they they know what they're doing and they just, do you know what I mean? And I'm not going to lie, I'm not that. Especially on, on the sort of business finance logistics side. I'm quite good at the creative, but the business and the finance. <laughs> and it's just been a lot. So anyway. I decided to take a step back and work out in my head what I was going to do, make some, you know, make some, <laughs> make some moves, <laughs> but I was trying to sort of sort things out so that I could move forward and, you know, be a wife, be a friend, be a daughter, as well as be a businesswoman and be with you guys doing, you know, all of the nice bits and bobs especially this time of year. I was getting FOMO of last year, what I was doing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because I just, I knew I wasn't gonna even have time to do any of it in the structure and the routine I was in. So I just really am currently looking for a business partner, essentially, for Bluey, so that I can work on the creative and they can work on the business and logistics. Because we, I don't have someone that sits next to me yet, and it's a big responsibility and pressure every day where everything lands on me and my bank, to put it bluntly. Anyway, that was a very long chat to start this video, but as you can see, most of the hair is re-waved. I just judged it up a bit. I don't like to do this every day because otherwise, you know, I'm, I am using a lot of heat on my hair and it's in quite a good place. It's actually, it's looking so much longer. I really like it this length. I feel like, <laughs> actually, I put on a wig the other day um, for my Halloween outfit that was like down here. I just do not suit that length. <laughs> I wish I did, but I just feel like my head shape maybe is too small. Don't know if any of you guys find that, but I'm just not a long hair gal. Although like in my dreams, I would have like, you know, princess hair, long hair. It just doesn't work for me. But I think this length is probably my favorite on my face. So I'm really pleased that it's finally actually grown a little bit. But anyway, I am going to quickly pop on my lip combo because I've done the rest of my makeup, but I haven't done my lips. So I feel a little bit naked. Actually, should I do it now? Because I need to go and eat my overnight oats. No, I'll do it after. But um, the combo that I'm doing, which is my absolute go-to, I have worn it for probably seven years. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. Um, is the Pillow Talk Liner from Charlotte Tilbury and the Bitch Perfect Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. And when I'm feeling a bit snazzy, I'll add a little bit of the, I mean, it doesn't actually have a label on it anymore because it's quite old, but it's the Lip Collagen collagen not collagen like I said in the last video <laughs> when I was editing it I was like Megan sort your freaking pronunciation of things out because I don't know why I said collagen the lip collagen bath lip gloss in peachy plump it's really good if you want a good lip gloss but anyway I'm gonna go and meet Carl and we are gonna drive to do something Halloweeny and then um get on with our days but I'm excited to be back. I'm sorry there wasn't a vlog last week. Um, and I really, really, really worked out <laughs> that this is my favourite thing to do out of all of my things in my job. So thank you so much for being here. And um, I'm really excited for just the months ahead because it's getting very autumn-y slash christmas -y. And I know I'm a bit early, but heart Christmas has started. Where's my phone? Here it is. I actually just want to see how many weeks it is till Christmas because I vaguely worked it out I think it was yesterday because me and I were having a debate as to whether, <laughs> whether it was too early to have Christmas songs on I mean it is a little bit I know although my gym playlist is definitely Michael Bublé's Christmas album now <laughs> which is criminal but gets me going in the gym <laughs> um but yeah I was thinking, I think it's six weeks till advent calendar start. It's Biscuit's first Christmas, look, you sat on the window. It actually makes me really emotional when um, when he does this in here, because this was Poppy's spot. 
and it's such a little cat windowsill, isn't it? And he, if he can, he will come up here. I don't think he likes to come up when no one's up here because he likes being with us. He's very cute, actually. He's a very, um, although he, he's a little bit sass. He is getting more sassy as he's getting older, except in the mornings and the evenings when he wants to cuddle. But in the daytime, Biscuit does what he likes. <laughs> but he does really like being near us. He's not a cat that likes to go off and do his own thing. He likes to be in the same room. So because I'm in here, he's on the windowsill, but often I'm not in this room. But I just, it just makes me emotional because Poppy used to sit here and... No, I still haven't wiped this because it's got some little hairs. I know that's probably really weird, but I just, yeah, it just makes me emotional because she used to sit here every day. Your great aunt Pop, Biscuit. Hi. <laughs> why do you get all good in the car? You're fine vlogging. I don't know. I don't know why it's the car. It's just because it's right there, isn't it? Me and Carl are currently off somewhere very Halloweeny. <laughs> I'm nervous. What we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't my idea, this is his. I'm fucking doing close up here with my mum. <laughs> <laughs> with your mum? <laughs> Costume shopping. Yeah, not for me. Me and Niall and the pet all. Or hiring, have... don't know what. I don't have a clue. I yet. don't think you hire there. You can't. I had a look. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's had a look. He's I had a look. I, I had a look this morning. You can either hire. Or well, they've got like buy kits, which you can just buy straight off of, like the shelves. Oh, that's quite good. Maybe and you should loads, hire it. Yeah, loads you can of give it back. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see anyway, we'll see what they're saying. So, Carl is on the hunt for a Halloween fit. Yes. Drip. Because we're having a fancy dress party next week. You don't Can you believe it's next week? You don't want to be that person who turns up with like... A sheet. A she well, a, a, sheet well, a rubbish dress. outfit and everyone's like, oh, you look good. And then inside, you know, you look shit, so... <laughs> you, want, you had one in mind that you'd found, didn't you? Yeah. Did you actually search up Willie costume? No, no, it just come up like... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Carl's coming to the party as a willy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Imagine turning up in that though. <laughs> I've got my, uh, just in case it gets dusty anyway, I can just have a little, have a little wipe. I thought it was a sweat towel. <laughs> Carpool karaoke take 20. Yeah, it's been quite a few times. <laughs> you better not cry, cause it's coming to town. Oh, go. <laughs> you know like every little bit though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Sing a little jingle bells. Yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle bells. Oh, jingle, jingle all the way. Right, I've got a few questions. Oh, have you already? Oof. Not a question, but Carl is the best. Oh, I mean, yes, I mean, yeah. No, Carl was, nothing else to say. Carl was out, was it this Saturday? Yeah. He was out on the dance floor and someone <laughs> came up to him and said hello. I thought that's really cute. I was actually buzzing about the line. Oh. I, get, I get well, I think it's sick every time. If you ever see Carl, say Talk to me. <laughs> give him a hug. <laughs> How did you guys become friends? The detailed story, please. Detailed story? Well, I think... It's a bit of a gradual thing, wasn't it? Yeah, was it? Well, I think it was through my ex-girlfriend, right, originally. Yeah. So, Carl's ex was in my uni class, and... But also, you were, like, the keyboard player of our uni. Well, yeah, I was, yeah. We wanted a bit of piece of Carl, didn't they? <laughs> nah, <I'm> joking. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I just love being a cocky and... <laughs> You're not actually really No, I'm not, that, I'm not. It's just a joke, isn't it? Um, but yeah, no, Carl was like really good. At, well, you still are, but Carl was known as the really good keyboard player. You were in high demand. Everybody wanted Carl to play for in their band, including yeah. me, but he rejected. <laughs> well, no, I, I started and then I was like, ah, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> and now look at me. I know. <laughs> No, but to be fair, you were in like how many bands? Yeah, there must have been like ten the last year. Like. And you, you needed to focus on your own stuff too, didn't yeah. you? Inside the Halloween Ravers! This is Halloween! This is Halloween! This is Halloween! Has Carl found his wife yet? <laughs> Might be lucky to be honest. Why? I just, uh, you know me, I'd say, I, think I, know, I can't be arsed with it. 
Yeah. It's so bad mentality. You're well free at you and Yeah, exactly. You I'm, actually are such an independent guy though. I am. <laughs> Keep saying it. <laughs> Keep saying it. <laughs> no, I'm quite happy. I'm, I'm not like one of those people who like, I don't know, I'm quite happy by myself. But also... You really like your own space though, don't you? Yeah, I don't know. I just like, I need to be in the right mentality to be able to date it. Fair enough. But yeah, so that was quite detailed though, wasn't it? I got yeah, about, it was. to, about to cry. <laughs> now I'm thinking, why am I single? Are you both ready for Vlogmas? Oh yeah, that's quite exciting actually, isn't it? With the old, uh, I can't really say it, can I? It's not even out. The, the intro thing, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, the intro. That's going to be chill. I showed Carl the new intro. I'm not going to give too much away because I want it to be a surprise, but it's special. Yeah, that was going to be good. Oh. Your favourite things about each other? Oh, here we go. Oh, you do us first. It's like you're like the nicest guy ever. Yeah. And um, Carl's really good at being friends with women. I like that, yeah. You actually are really yeah. good at being friends with women. Some free. guys I think are a bit, it can be a little bit awkward. Or because I think it's like finding that. I think you just should know where you stand to be honest. Yeah, but it's not even that. It's just like some, you have really good respect for women. Ah. Do you not think? That's actually quite nice. <laughs> I've never, no, no, no one's ever said that to me ever. Really? Yeah, so that's quite nice. Yeah, you, but you are, you, you just like treat women and men exactly the same. You have loads of girlfriends. Yeah, I think I probably get on with them a bit better to be honest. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. But oh, I feel like you come out your shell in different ways with women versus men. Like you're, you're, you've got like a really laddish side with the with the guys, but then you've also got. I'm not got, like scared of being like. You're really comfortable Girly, with probably, your, yeah, your yeah, yeah. feminine sides and some, <laughs> some people are. Ah, that's a nice answer, that. Yeah. Do you know what to say about you? Go on, then. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I would say, like, you're, like, so kind and generous. Really? Yeah, I would, yeah. And like, in the way of, like, I feel like you're a good listener. Like, you can just... You're good at speaking to people, do you know what I mean? Do you think? Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks, Carl. Yeah. I feel like if I had an issue, like I could actually come to you and you'd be like... Yeah, we talk you, about things you, that listen. are a bit in depth, don't we? I hate when I speak to people and they're like, listening, but like, just not even like listening at all, do you know what I mean? Not bothered. Yeah, they're not really taking it in. I like a convo. I like a DMC. Work it out. Work it out. <laughs> DMC? Deep, meaningful conversation? Deep, meaningful chat. Oh, come on, come on. Close. Go, let's see. Outfit number one. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to do that. <laughs> that actually is really. Take my jeans off. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Get your legs out. <laughs> the only thing is, masks are really hot, aren't they? You'd have to have, I could stand at your door though, imagine that. <gasps> and stand really still so you look like a statue yeah. and then jump out at people. And it's quite a dramatic entrance, isn't it? That is a good costume, that. <laughs> That's my outfit camera so weird. <laughs> You're like my mum. Go. <laughs> that mask is horrible. <laughs> He's from the Halloween films, isn't he? Look at mum. That mask looks so <laughs> Guys, how freaking cute is this? Baby Chucky costume. When me and Nala have a baby, we definitely need to do that. That would be so cute. Also, look at these. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Handmaid's tail. I would so do this as well if I hadn't already got mine. They've actually got some really good girl ones. This one I really like. Possessed girl. Where was the other one I like? This one's really cool too. And actually, these little accessory things are really cool. She's got a syringe in her head, this one. This one's so weird. Botched surgery costume. Look at her bum. Don't get oh, that. That's the girl from Love Island. Could absolutely slay it. Actually, you look. Yeah, you actually are really good. It's Dracula. Yeah. Imagine get that. some fangs. Because look over here, you've got these things which are really cool. So apparently you just put. So what, do these just dissolve in your mouth? Did you say? Yeah, they just you just hold them in your mouth and that they mix with the saliva in your. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And that just with blood, so that's They're so cool. I've never seen them before. Them with some of them. You'd be sorted, Carl. And you... <laughs> 
And this is what you need too, garlic. Oh yeah, because I've that Yeah. Smashed it. Didn't you have one other oh wolf man you were gonna try as well? I yeah, I think I could be like. Getting embarrassed. <laughs> Carl. I'm so warm. Yeah. <laughs> Look to your left. What? Look to your left. No, no, no. On the chair. <laughs> to your left. That's my left. Yeah, yeah. Look on your chair to your left. Right above. Look, 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 look behind you. No, other way. There's something on the chair. Oh! <laughs> Megan, yeah, oh that God, was. <laughs> Did that work at all? A tiny bit, but uh, I was like, oh, Megan, like. I, I tried I, to do take two of the spider. <laughs> you can't really see it, but there is a spider. Yeah, there. that was good. That was not bad, though. Yeah, I had a quick about I was like, what are you on about? I've, I really wanted to get you again this the year. The last time you had me was the This one's good as well. Yeah, the last time it. you had me was like the best one, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I replayed it in a vlog the other that day. That was like serious. That is quite good, yeah. It was a great We did I mean, what is it? <laughs> I just feel like it fit anybody. No, it's, it's. I know it's stretchy. Yeah. It's this brand where it's all one size. It's poster girl. I mean, look. It's a saucy dress I bought for date night tomorrow. We haven't. Yeah, literally. <laughs> 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 no, but trust me, you could like li literally the stretch in this is just on new levels. Yes. Both just like yeah. nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? Me and Carl just sat down to, to play a Christmas song. Carl was corner. filming in there. No, I've just I've seen a con. I'm having a five minute break. Yeah, but you were enjoying. What you like to listen to us on your on your break? Wow. Enjoying the Christmas tune. Are you feeling festive in October? Like my I've just popped on my gym outfit for the day because I'm about to head to the gym to train push and cardio today but just before I do I wanted to chat you through our brand new bluey collection which is about to drop so this is from it let me take you around <laughs> so this collection is called the dusk collection i'm so excited about it because we haven't had a drop with bluey for a while now we've had a little bit of a quieter patch while we've been trying to get everything moving um, and everything's taken quite a while to sort um, but moving forward from now we should have much more regular things going on with bluey and um, we've got everything planned out till next autumn so it's looking very exciting but this is our dusk collection so we have three colors now i did show you quite a lot of it when i was on the shoot in the last video so i did chat specifically quite a lot through the leggings so i'm not gonna kind of repeat myself too much in case you saw that video and if you didn't i'll link it so that you can see a little bit more with the timestamp too so you don't have to watch the whole thing um but we have three colors so we've gone very autumnal and neutral this time. I mean, they were quite neutral last time. We had the khaki and we had the charcoal, but we had our pink as well. And I wanted a very sort of, I don't know, dusky color palette. <laughs> so we've got our olive green, our dusky blue and our cloudy gray. And I absolutely love all three of them so much. And I'm just so happy with how those colors have come out. They just complement each other so well. If you see, hang on, that's not very good light. 
but you can see they look so nice together all of them do let's chat quickly through a few pieces i won't put everything on but i'll pop some pictures up on screen of the other colors because i am going to wear the dusky blue set to the gym today oh also <laughs> i need to give you a launch date don't i so we're supposed to be launching on the 26th which when this video is up will literally be two days away however apparently there's a big storm in portugal at the moment which <laughs> i've literally just heard that our dye house where our seamless clothes get dyed the colors they actually have no electric, so it may be Friday, but it will be this week. But what I'll, I'll do, by by the time this I edit this vlog, I'll, I should know the actual date, so I'll put it on screen. But it should be around 6 or 7pm. I'll put it on screen anyway, the launch date, but it will be this week. Um, so, first up, just quickly to go through the leggings again. So what we've done is we've kind of given our leggings that we already had a bit of a glow up. Um, now I absolutely loved our first leggings so much. I mean, I was looking at them for years. <laughs> so it is really nice to have something a bit fresh and new. And um, basically we took on some of your guys' feedback and we just adjusted them slightly to make them even better. So the few amends we have made, Firstly, we ha now have this gorgeous ribbing contour down the side. Um, basically, when we designed the Bluey leggings, I really wanted, I mean, I always want everything at Bluey to feel simplistic and timeless. And I want you to be able to wear them, obviously, in multiple ways. So I didn't want gym leggings that were really fussy or they had loads of pattern on them or loads of, I don't know, just loads of markings on them and you know I, I wanted them to feel fashionable and not overly sport even though they have the performance aspect to the material and the way that they are created like visually they don't look massively sporty they're quite girly fashionable and they look really cool dressed up in like a street style if you want to put like a leather jacket with it or I don't know high socks and new balance is always what I do <laughs> Um, so yeah, we wanted them to still be quite simplistic, but add in this really subtle ribbing, so it's it's just built into the seamless material, it just adds that a little bit more and it makes them look a little bit more expensive, because um, the other ones were so simple. And then also with that we did slightly adjust the contour on the bum, so before we had two small ribbing lines, but now we, we have a slightly thicker one line and actually it cups the bum way better so that when you sort of stand there it kind of like cinches very slightly under the bum to give you that shape <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> it like cups the cheeks but subtly so it's not like super in your face obvious contour at all again it's built into the seamless and it's just nice nice subtle ribbing if you can see there you go um so yeah it's still our super soft slinky material that we had before um, but we've just added that little bit extra ribbing we've also um, adjusted the waistband a little bit because I wanted the waistband to be very slightly higher waisted and also we have actually brought the waistband down slightly so it kind of has a little bit better tummy control um, and we have slightly made it a little bit more compressed so that you feel you know cinched in and comfortable and you know together <laughs> we've also changed the logo as you all have seen already which i am absolutely obsessed with i think it is so cute and as i said before we're kind of trialing it out seeing what people think i think from what i've seen on instagram people really love it too which i'm really pleased about because i definitely prefer it i think because our logo is so cute and soft and very fashionable as well it doesn't look like harsh and overly sporty i think it just really works and it's nice and small and dainty got that and then on the sports bras as you can see it's on the waistband as well but yeah i absolutely love it and then the other thing we have slightly adjusted is the length of the leggings so before we had seven eighths and full length um, and now we actually just have one length to our leggings and it's kind of in between so on me these leggings are properly full length i'm five foot five <laughs> do you know what i've done i just looked at my ankle you know when you shave your legs and then does anyone else just always miss the very bottom by your ankle i don't want to show you that too up close and personal because I have a few sparse <laughs> long hairs on the bottom of my leg that I've missed but yeah as you can see that I'm five foot five 
and it sits there for me. I mean, if I really want to pull them up, I can make them look a little bit more 7 eighths, um, but I think our last 7 eighths were very short, and so we thought this was more of a universal length because if you are a taller girl, it will be more of a 7 8 and sit like just above your ankle, and then if you're shorter, then it will be more full length. Um, and if you want to, you could roll them up or, I mean, I always wear high socks and I think that is what most people do these days anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to change it up and see how that went as well. Again, we may bring back the two lengths in the future, but we just sort of trialing different things out and seeing what works. But I think most people did go for the full lengths before. So we've just kind of listened and gone off our research from what we've done. So. Those are the changes in the leggings and I'm so pleased with them. I just absolutely love them. They're so comfy. They mold around your body and make you look amazing. And they, they like hug you in the right places and they just make you feel great, I think. <laughs> Next we have our new sports bra. So this is our scoop neck sports bra. Now this was actually designed for bigger boobed gals because I feel like we maybe were missing that in the first drops. We didn't have one that was really good for a bigger boobed person. And although our sports bras, I personally think are supportive, I don't have big boobs. And we did again do some more research into this and we wanna make sure we do cater to the you know, bigger boob girls as well. So this is designed for the bigger boob girl. Now it's got, it's very simplistic, which I love. It also looks amazing with baggy jeans or cargos. Um, we actually shot some sort of styling pictures on the shoot day two and it looked so nice, but it has all the functionality to be a great supportive sports bra. It's got a really supportive waistband. Um, it's nice and kind of like contoured. So it's got a slight corsety feel to it, which I really like. Then the back is just a very simplistic racer back. And yeah, I just feel like it looks really nice. And the thing is, I don't have big boobs, but it does actually flatter my boobs for me as well. I mean, often I'm not gonna lie, I give them a bit of a hoist and then I have a little bit more of a cleavage, but I'm, the girls on the shoot all had much bigger boobs than me and it looked so nice on them. It does just really keep you in on the sides and it's not too low, but it's not too high either. So yeah, I feel like it's just, done and as you can see oh wrong side here's our little logo again which I think is so cute I'm probably gonna say cute loads of times <laughs> I have a little bit of a habit of describing everything as cute and then the second sports bra in this drop is our halter neck sports bra we had before this was our best seller and um, yeah this one just sold really really well loads of you seem to absolutely love it I love it I love basically this was the one that I wanted to be completely backless so initially when we were designing it I did actually have a sample that had none of this at the back because I just love the idea of a completely open back however it did give you a headache that's why they're not really done very often because if it you know doesn't have any support going downwards then it is just digging into the back of your neck so that's why we then brought in this little thing which i still feel like you still can see loads of your back so it's a really nice sort of back day bra um i mean i wear it on all days but it's a really nice day when you want your back to be out <laughs> it's a bit more of a booby one too where your boobs are sort of slightly more on show but again, I do think, and I have heard from feedback from people and also from the models that they absolutely love this bra as well, even with bigger boobs. So yeah, we've brought that one back as well, which I'm really excited about. And then finally, we have our brand new long sleeve crop top. So this is it. It's very simplistic again, but it has this gorgeous open back. So this bra specifically, looks really nice underneath it. You can actually wear it without a bra and the girls on the shoot did wear it without a bra and because we've built this really sturdy um, waistband, it just, it kind of like sucks under and it's got a slight corsety feel to it without, it doesn't dig in, but because it's nice and structured, I think structure's the word, not corset, it really does sort of give you that little lift and hold with the boob in if that makes sense so yeah it's just got a really nice underband bit and then it's got 
the little holes on the sleeves which I also love and yeah the gorgeous open back which I feel like I don't see very much now I know this is cropped and some people don't like cropped this range is small because being completely transparent it's been a little bit of a struggle getting everything together with our factory um not their fault or anything but just being a new brand everything has taken quite a while and because we are doing everything with recycled materials bringing in brand new things takes a long time and we've had a bit of a change up recently as i said within the business not just with staff but with you know suppliers and manufacturers and stuff and um because of that we were a little bit behind schedule and so there is lots of things coming which aren't cropped <laughs> just to note because i do realize not everyone likes cropped things i do <laughs> but not everyone so we we are bringing you know things that are going to cover you more and um yeah we're just you know starting small and we'll have bigger collections coming and I'm really excited but this is kind of like a smaller drop but some of the items that I wanted to also be in this range were not ready yet and I just wasn't prepared to put anything out that you know wasn't ready so there is lots coming but this one's just a small one so yeah that is the new drop the dusk collection I can't say that today the dusk collection <laughs> which will be out this week when this vlog is up so if you do want to grab anything please make sure you're quick we did sell out of lots of sizes very fast last time um and i think this collection seems to be even more popular than what our other ones were before i don't know and i never like to be that person that's like we're gonna sell out because I don't know um, and we hopefully will as we grow as a business have more and more stock but at the moment we you know we want to see what people like we don't want to be wasteful and so we're not like buying masses and masses and masses because um, also it's very expensive <laughs> so yeah let me know what you might grab I would love to know what your favorite piece is and what you think you might get yourself or get someone for Christmas Christmas presents it's almost time <laughs> Right, I'm just slotting this in because I've realised there are quite a few things that I've forgotten to say and I've finished filming this whole section now. But, firstly, I just wanted to note that we do have our bum scrunch back, but as you can see, it's very subtle and it's just, yeah, I mean, you can't even tell it's there, but it makes your bum look amazing. Um, and then also on the sports bras, they do have removable pads, so if you do like them, then you can leave them in, or if you don't, then you can take them out. The other thing I just wanted to say was sizing. So I wear small on bottom and extra small on top, and that is always what I wear in all of my gym clothes. So it is very true to size. Go for your usual size. If you are in between sizes, I wouldn't go down. Um, due to the nature of, you know, having skin-like seamless material, I think people often do go down a size because they know that they're stretchy but just being completely honest with you if you do do that there is a slight chance that you may get a little bit of sheerness when you squat now I don't have any issues with with sheerness because I have my usual size on and it's not like pulling the fabric so much I technically probably could fit in an extra small because they are so stretchy but then I may experience a little bit of sheerness because the material would be pulling so much against me, if that makes sense. So yeah, don't go down a size. I'm just being completely honest with you. And if you don't, you won't experience sheerness. I don't. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, just wanted to add that. <laughs> um, what is going on here? Look <gasps> at little chunky monkey. Oh, you're giving him a kiss. Good boy, Basil. We can't see because your floppy ears are in the way. Are you giving him a kiss? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's got a wet head from Basil's kisses. This is risky business doing this in my camera viewfinder because if you do this wrong, you look like Tom Cruise. I am currently just... Wait a second. I better be careful, otherwise I will look ridiculous. Okay, we're on. Um, I am just having a little pamper basically because I fancied it. Um, I've just actually popped on my eyebrow tint as you just saw. This is the one that I'm using which I always use and it's amazing. And if you ever just feel, if you want your face to feel together, 
a bit more, it's the best when you've got a nice, like, I don't know, I guess it just frames your face more when your eyebrows are more prominent. And I just feel like I do a lot less with my makeup when I've got a good eyebrow. So I've just popped that on. Um, I need to make sure I actually check the time or I will look like Tom Cruise <laughs> if I leave on too long. So just now popping on a Body Shop Pumpkin Radiance Mask, which sounds right, about right this time of year, doesn't it? <laughs> I have been to the gym. I actually didn't film my workout in the end because it was rammed. <laughs> What I'll do is pop my workout on screen from Beyond because it was a Beyond Burst workout and it was it was good actually because it was such a quick session and I only needed to be in one area which was nice especially when the gym's busy so I did that and I also did do some sprints today and it was the first time I've done just like sprints by themselves for a while because I've been doing like more general treadmill workouts where I, it's got a bit of sprints but then also a bit of high incline walk and a bit of jogging and all that jazz so yeah it was tough but it was good I did 10 minutes and I felt lovely afterwards but anyway do you know what I was going to do I was going to make this really snazzy hot chocolate this evening and I just looked at how you do it and it, it would literally take me like two hours to make hot chocolate <laughs> But it does look really cool, so I think when I've got a little bit more time, maybe on like a Sunday afternoon or something, I wanted to make this. So it's a toffee, ha toffee apple? <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Toffee apple hot chocolate. And I thought it would just be quite straightforward, but you need to actually bake the apples in lemon for an hour and a half. <laughs> so it's quite a fiddly hot chocolate, but... Basically, Niall got this um, recipe book the other day from HomeSense, and there's some really cool recipes in here. The other one that I really like the look of was, I'm not a big schmores kind of gal, because I don't like marshmallows that much, but this one sounded really, really good. And then they've got some kind of less hot chocolate based sort of cocktail -y ones in here as well, which all sound lovely. Apple pie moonshine, that sounds a bit of me. So yeah, I was just, I wanted to give one a go, but then realized it would take me two hours to make hot chocolate. And I don't know if I can be bothered to do that right now. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but I am going to sit and watch Handmaid's Tale. It's my favorite day of the week because a new Handmaid's Tale episode comes out and it is the best program in, in the entire universe. If you have not watched Handmaid's Tale, <laughs> I can't speak. If you have not watched Handmaid's Tale yet, whap it on. Because it is so good. It's so weird. It's a bit creepy. And it's very like, well, it's very disturbing in a lot of areas. But it's unreal. Like, unbelievable. Best TV show ever. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. And I think I'm actually going to have some of this, which Niall and Carl filmed today. <laughs> which is a, I think it's like a tomato-y basil gnocchi bake. Gnocchi bake. Me and Carl were having this debate earlier whether it's gnocchi or gnocchi. And I think it's gnocchi. Good morning, everybody. We are currently in the car in London. It's a very autumnal rainy day today. Actually, this morning when we woke up, it was really dark and it really reminded me of a Christmas December morning. Did it not? Yeah, when my, you know it's my birthday in December. Yeah, but we, I think we all know that. Do you know that? 14th of December. Uh, I used to get up for school and it used to be dark still. I remember that. Did it? On my birthday. I kind of love it. I kind of hate it, but there's something about it. This side of Christmas, I love it. It's quite new still. I feel like when, once it's like yeah. four months in, you're a bit like, okay, let's have summer now. That is true. Um, but anyway, we're in London and we're about to go and get some tattoos. So. Niall is about to get me tattooed on him. Am I? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh, sure, sure. Huh? So stitch me no up and make me look like a weirdo. Well, it wasn't my idea. In. You booked me in for the... I said no, Megan. Megan. He's, he's lying. Ah, oh, what? I'm going to have you tattooed on my arm <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> on your bicep. It's been planned he's for actually quite... getting well, on his bicep. Well, it's been an idea for quite a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I think you thought of the idea maybe at the beginning of the year and um yeah Niall's gonna get me my face no, your face. who's my face 
the no. side of my face. Yeah, not the full face. I wouldn't want that, would I? <laughs> No, you prefer anything but the face. No, but to be fair, I feel like it's going to be nice because it's a photo from like a time that was special to us. Yeah, what, so what tattoo are you getting of me on you? I'm also getting a tattoo today, but I'm not doing what Niall's doing. Well, actually, no, we, you're getting two. So we're also getting a matching tattoo. Basically, we really wanted to get our wedding date tattooed on us. I actually wanted to do it before the wedding. But because our initial wedding date was postponed, I was like, let's be safe because <laughs> I don't want to have a date on me that turns out not to be my wedding date so we are getting our wedding heads date at all by the end of the day what did you say I'm gonna be covered heads at all you are he needs to get a biscuit tattoo soon as well because you've got all the family except him yeah that's what we're doing this morning and then we are going to head into London to do a couple of bits pop into the office and then go for a date night this evening. So we've got a nice fun filled day planned, even though it's pouring with rain, which is gonna be fun. So <laughs> My hair that I've also re-waved again this morning is gonna not look great. It's at the stage where it really needs a wash now as well because it is, it's, it's feeling tacky. It's actually got so much volume because it's just dirt. <laughs> Nice. Sometimes it's good to have dirty hair as a girl. Oh, look at you, Mr. Cute. Your outfit looks really cute. Is it? <laughs> it's Why? like, more, more, more. Why? <laughs> you do suit a beanie. It's beanie season. Beanie season. Beanie season. <laughs> Right, what are we doing? <laughs> we're trying to work out where I'm going to be on his arm and I said to him, because now I was like, oh, I'll put you by here. Where did you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but then there'll be hair growing out of my freaking bum pets. or something. You're just above the pets, though. But I will literally be hairy. <laughs> I'd maybe pick a slightly less hairier part of your arm. This would look nice. What about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do a lamb then. Yeah. We're all right in the bicep. Yeah. Just had my my date. No, but the before, placement. <laughs> Cute. I was worried that the sixth month wasn't June for a second while he was mid flow, but. It's all right. I think it looks really cute. Nice and simplistic, small and dainty. Exactly what I like wanted. Oh, look at the oh, God. Oh, he's being pulled. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you dun. Mm. It's a bit sore. <laughs> Did that one hurt? Yeah. Because you can't really so see it with the cling film. We'll have to get them off later to show. Because the needle's the thinnest needle you can use. Yeah. It makes it, it hurts more. Oh, it really? It's more painful, yeah. Yeah, I think also maybe the placement's quite... Yeah, it was, when you got up here, it was getting more and more sore. <laughs> and then when Nal moves his bicep, I move. <laughs> Your boobs are going... <laughs> <laughs> look how unreal this smoothie looks. Do you know what this smoothie is? It's a replica of Hailey Bieber's famous Starbucks drink they do in America apparently. So we just went to Acai Girls which is such a nice place in Fulham in London. If you're ever there, go there. I've ordered some bits from there for lunch to the office before and they do like really nice um, toast with avocado and feta. It's, it's great. Nice. But also they do do these really snazzy smoothies and I saw this one on TikTok what and I wanted that to smoothie? try it. It's got a coconut mm. So it's banana, mango, pineapple, coconut milk and blue spirulina which is why it looks like the ocean. That's where the blue comes from. It's really pretty though isn't it? 
Okay, we've just arrived for our date night dinner. And we're at a very snazzy boat restaurant this evening. Basically, me and Niall came to Richmond um, a couple of weekends ago with the dogs and we saw this place. It's a lot hotter before. No, but it was very, it was, it was quite a while ago actually, wasn't it? It's like the end of summer, wasn't it? Okay. And we said the next time we book a date night, we need to book here to treat ourselves to a snaz on the river date night. It does look so nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks cool. Really, really cute. It's called Peggy Jean in Richmond. I don't know if I already said that. Um, Peggy Jean. And it's I think it's like an Australian it's just a vibe, so I'm really excited. When are you going to go for first? These are interesting, don't they? Okay, so we've just got our starters. So we have some halloumi fries. What's this one again? Oh, chorizo croquettes and hot fire flames olives, it says. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I have got myself a truffle mushroom pizza. I feel like I'm being a criminal to myself today because olives and mushrooms were the two foods I hated. But I actually mushroom pizza with Lizzie. Yeah, and that changed my mind when I had one with Lizzie. But it's the truffle. Is it mushroom? Uh, mushroom. <laughs> Is it mushroom? I mean, it's it's mushroom rocket. That's truffle. for sure. There's a lot of rocket on it. Is it mushroom and truffle? Yeah. All of the fungi. <laughs> I'm a real fun guy. Tuck it in, go on. How dare you? <laughs> I've never seen you tuck it in a Yeah, but I see, I see people do it these days, don't they? People in Hackney Wick. Yeah, you know. You, know. <laughs> you went out in Hackney Wick one weekend and then you come back. Then one night in Hackney Wick. <laughs> Literally. Uh, anyway, hi guys. I actually think I look like a security guard. Yeah, you actually do, don't you? I quite like the jacket. I do like everything, but the tucking in is new for me. <laughs> With the hat on, even more security. <laughs> you look like an American security guard. <laughs> Not sure. I also did grab myself this jumper. You, you know when you put something on and you absolutely love it to the point where you're like, I'm so glad that I got this before it sold out. I feel like this is a piece of gold. I had that moment. You can't really tell right now with it on, but it's so comfy and just like a really cool oversized look. New York. New York. New York. It just dawned on me. You look like the guy from You. What's his name again? The serial killer. This what he wears. He wears a cap and then he has like his top tucked in. Yeah, you literally, Bundy vibes. you literally look like him from They're you. What's his name again? Oh, I've forgotten. Anyway, I am going to finish off this video here. I really hope you enjoyed. Oh, actually, let's have a look at your tattoo now. We've taken your foil off. Foil. Is it better without the tattoo? Yeah, you look a bit cooler now. A bit more chill. A bit less, I'm going to go and kill your wife. Oh, but, but it's just like... <laughs> No, 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 no. And the belt. The belt. Is the belt necessary? No. Is it holding up it trousers? It's actually loose. No, it's, it's not even holding so up. Look how loose it is. Ooh, you don't it. need it. Like, show us your tat. No, but it just looks a bit smart. Also, show us your you, tat, guys. I need to actually show a... you the picture as to what, where this tat came from because it's I realised. It's ballsy to tuck in your shirt, isn't it? No, I'm not, I'm not a big, not big fan. I mean, it's up to you, each to their own, but you do look a bit like a serial killer. So, in three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's so fine. It's it, literally so Yeah, I've fine. never had a fine, fine tattoo. It's the tattoo. finest needle you can get. So is it more, it's more painful, right? Yeah, but I didn't wait, cry. Wait, wait, I stay didn't there. Like, like, cry or anything. <laughs> Stay still a sec because of the focus. Look at that. I'm on you forever now. You can't divorce me. <laughs> oh, I, I have well, to cross my head up. The tattoo man. Face a little bit, make it, you know. Yeah, the tattoo man was like, well, if you ever do get a divorce, you can just turn me into like a slug or a horse. I was like, that's great. Yeah. No, but I wouldn't even. <laughs> you don't even have to be divorced. Like, you could literally draw a, a horse body no, onto that and it'd no. be a centaur. No. Be a mythical creature, a centaur. Or you could be a mermaid. 
Oh yeah, I'd like that. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Actually, I just need to show you the dogs because they look so cute. Look at them under here. It's Blue Bee. Blue Bee. I won't focus on her. But Blue Bee's here and then Basil is lying on her, on her bum under there somewhere. But you can't quite see him but there. I'm having a mummy snuggle. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog. I can't even remember what's in it now. <laughs> Me and Carl were having a party yesterday morning. Oh, that's going to be a long vlog. Yeah, it's going to be a long vlog, so I'm going to finish this here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next week we'll be back for Halloween week. Come to our Halloween house party with us. Dot com, I was going to say, but that doesn't make sense. I used to make videos where it said, come to my party with me but i haven't done that in ages would you watch that maybe not we'll just do a week vlog but there will be a party a halloween party within it and we'll show you our outfits and they're really cool so i'll hopefully see you there